The law are a series of problems that are based on quantitative reasoning. Before answering the questions, let us study the sample that precedes each set and then use it to tackle the problems in that set. Okay, so if you look at this set, you see the indication of the arrow pointing. This one is showing a direction of fall leading to 12 leading to 16 and 16 leading to 4 so what is the relationship between this number that has to do with this and this has to do with 4 okay so if you look at it directly you'll see the direct relationship is an addition of 4 plus 12 which give us 16 okay and 16 being a perfect square, you can see that the square root of 16 is what gave us 4, the last digit by the bot by the right bottom, okay? So 4 plus 12 gives us 16, the square root of 16 gives us 4. Alright, let's look at the second sample, okay? So if we say the same thing, 28 plus 8 will give us what? That is 36. So the square root of 36 is what? 6. You can see absolutely the same pattern. Alright. So let's see the third set. 49 plus 95. That will give us what? 144. The square root of 144 is what? 12. Good. So, we use this to tackle the other questions that are going to appear after these. Alright, let's solve this question with the previous pattern that we studied in the given sample. Okay? Remember, this plus this. Okay? That is 1 plus 3 will give us what? 4. And the square root of 4 is what will give us the unknown number that we are looking for. The square root of 4 is 2. So the answer option E is the right answer. Now let's find the missing number at the top right. Okay. So remember, the summation of the two numbers at the top is what slides down to give us the number at the bottom left. Okay? So, 25 plus what we give us? 25. Obviously, 0. Okay? So, the answer option A is the right answer. Now, we have to find the missing number at the bottom left. Okay? Remember, the summation of the two numbers at the top is what slides down to give us the number at the bottom left. Okay? So, 36 plus 64. Okay? 6 plus 4. That is 10. 0. We write on 0. Carry 1 to the next column. 3 plus 6 plus the 1, which gives us 10. 
So the missing number is 100. The on answer option D is the right answer. Now we are to find this missing number at the top left. Okay. Remember the summation of these two numbers at the top is what slides down to give us the number at the bottom left. Okay. So let's say the unknown number is represented with the letter Rex plus 27 which gives us 81. Okay. So which means if we minus 27 from both sides. Okay. We get the missing number okay so 1 minus 7 not possible so we borrow 1 from 8 which becomes 11 11 minus 7 gives us what 4 so we have 7 left here 7 minus 5, 2 gives us 5 so the missing number is 54 so the answer option D is the right answer we have another new set of sample, okay? So let's study and use the pattern to tackle the problems that comes after this, okay? Alright, looking at this merely, you see the arrow pointing, it means it has these two numbers is what gave us the number at the bottom. So the two numbers are at the top. There is a relationship between the two numbers that give us the number at the bottom, okay? So if you just look at it like, oh, uh, maybe it's 5 plus 4 that gives us 9, okay? What about the second set? 9 plus 4, see, can give us 1, okay? So that means it has to do with just the two numbers working together to give us this, okay? So if we say 9 minus 4, which gives us 5 in this first set, what about the second set? 1 minus 9, you see, it is not correct. Alright, so what else can it be if we square root the 2, because they appear to be perfect square. The square root of 4, the square root of 4 is what? 2. Okay, then the square root of 9, the square root of 9 is 3. So if we now add the 2 together, 2 plus 3, that gives us what? 5. Good, let's try the second pattern and see if it works the same as well. Okay, the square root of 9, the square root of 9 is what? 3. And the square root of 1 is equal to 1. Okay, 3 plus 1 gives us what? 4. Okay, good. It worked for the second set. What about the third set? Alright, so in the third set we have 1 over 4. The square root of 1 over 4 will give us what? 1 over 2. The square root of 1 over over 16 will give us what? 1 over 4. So if we add 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4, what do we get? The LCM of 2 and 4 is 4. Okay, so 2 in 4 we have 2. 2 times 1 will give us 2. Okay. So, 4 and 4, 1, 1 times 1, we give us 1. So, we have 3 over 4. Alright, you can see that that is the pattern. You, you add the square root of the two numbers at the top, the square root of the number on the left, and the square root, you add it to the square root of the number on the right to slide it down to get the number at the bottom. Okay, now we have to look for the missing number at the bottom. Okay, remember the square root of the number on the left plus the 
square root of the number on the right is what slides down to give us the number at the bottom okay so the square root of 36 plus the square root of 16 is what will give us the unknown number okay the square root of 36 is 6 good and the square root of 16 is what 4 so 6 plus 4 is what we give us 10 so the missing number is 10 the answer option D is the right answer now the missing number is on the top right of the diagram okay so let us remember the square root of the number on the left plus the square root of the number on the right top okay this time around is unknown so we represent that with the letter rex or right which we now slide down to give us the number at the bottom which is 13 okay so the square root of 144 is what 12 all right plus the square root of x which is equal to 13 all right so now if we subtract 12 from both sides okay so we have 13 minus 12 on the left hand side okay so now the square root of x is equal to 13 minus 12 which gives us 1 so now we square both sides okay square both sides to eliminate the square root on the left hand side so we have x equals the square of 1 is 1 so the missing number is 1 the answer option a is the b is the right answer here we are with new set of sample to study okay all right looking at this are uh, 20 13 0 at the top and 7 and 13 at the bottom okay on the left hand side 20 13 and 7 all right you'll see 20 minus 13 which gives us 7 okay that is the num this number minus this number swings down to give us the number at the bottom left okay so not about the numbers on the right hand side all right so we can see a correlation a, a, a relationship okay 0 plus 13 we give us what 13 okay so this number plus this number swings down to the right to the bottom right to give us this number all right so let's check if the same applies to the second given set okay so 10 minus 4 we give us what 6 good so this minus this swings down to give us the number at the bottom right all right what about the right hand side 2 plus 4 which gives us 6 good you can see this plus this swings down to give us the number at the bottom right okay what about the third set 19 plus 19 minus 14 which will give us what 5 this minus this swings down to give us the number at the bottom left okay what about the numbers on the right 5 plus 14 which gives us 19 good this plus this swings down to give us the number at the bottom right so that is the pattern we will use to solve the questions that comes after okay now we are to find this unknown number okay remember in the previous given sample this number plus this number no this number 
minus this number is what swings down to give us this number okay so 5 minus 0 will give us 5 okay so this minus this swings down to give us the missing number 5 so the answer option C is the right answer now we are to look for the missing number at the middle of the numbers at the top okay so remember this number minus the unknown number is what gives swings down to give us the number at the bottom right okay so 14 minus this gives us this which means if we have 14 to minus x x is representing the unknown number okay that is what swings down to give us 9 all right so now let us minus 14 from both sides okay so on the left hand side with minus 14 we're left with x minus x which gives us 9 minus 14 okay so 9 minus 14 will give us minus 5 all right so now if we cancel the minus on both sides we have x equals 5 so the unknown number is 5 the answer option e is the right answer now the missing number is on the top right okay and to solve the question remember we added this number to this number and it now swings down to give us the number at the bottom okay so that is 21 plus x representing the unknown number is what give us 25 okay that is if we now minus 21 from both sides we have x equals 25 minus 21 which gives us 4 the missing number so the answer option c is the right answer